Hi everyone! Today I want to talk to you about something that most of us witches are struggling with. What is it you're asking yourself? It's in that box. Let's find out. Yes, it's herbs. <laughs> now, as you can see, I have lots of them. Maybe, probably too much. So, worry not. You don't have to have all of these herbs to be a good witch. But before I start, there's something I want to say. So first of all, when you work with herbs, always have some book on them. Like I use this Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs by Scott Kennegan. Uh, there's lots of other books too that can help you. If not, just go go some herbs and see what their current pundits are and how you can use them in your spells and things like that so second thing is uh since we don't know where our herbs come from well you have to be careful with that because some you can consume and other you can't what i mean by that is that if you bought herbs at the place you don't know, well, there's a chance that they can be harvested in some place that had some chemicals or things like that. And you don't want to consume them. To be sure, you can buy your herbs from an herbalist or even at the grocery store if you wish to. Yes, the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the other thing is always be careful if you take some meds because some of them doesn't mix with herbs okay so always ask an herbalist pharmacist or your doctor before using them to consume now with that being said Let's start. I'm going to give you some ideas on how to use them. Now, first of all, I'm going to give you some, uh, some herbs that you should have in your, um, in your witch kit, if I can say that. First of all, I'm going to start with rosemary. Now, this is um, the herbs that's going to replace any herbs. Okay, so if you miss an herbs or a spell or something, you can always use rosemary. Now, you have some Bela worlds. If you want to write some petition, some sage, because yes, we need sage. Um, you also have okay for the flower department roses that can replace any flower lavender which is a good one to have too and yes as you can see this one is cinnamon and you can buy them as i say in the grocery store or for example some pepper like that and which is really needed too is black salt white salt and in the incense always have some oliven frankincense sorry and you may add some dragon blood too now with that being said you have to ask yourself what I'm going to need, what I'm going to do with my herbs. Why do I need them? Is it only for a spell? Is it for example doing some herbal tea? Or anything else? Now if it's only for herbal teas, you can buy them like that. Okay. And use it with this little um strainer okay you can make your teas 
you can use them like that okay and if sometime you need for example uh, some mint and you don't have it in this version take some tea open the open the bag and use the mint that's inside that's one thing you can do now you can use it to do some bottles like that and as you can see here that's a cool one for Halloween so you can use it and put some herb in there you can use it in bath to do some salt bath okay here I've done some, I did some and as you can see there's some herbs in there so I would suggest that when you use this you use a small bag like that <laughs> because after your bath you won't have to go to look for the herbs and it won't block your bath okay you can do soaps too if you you're doing your soap you can use it to do some pouch like that for example to put under your pillow to sleep you can use a small bag like that or even like that too okay and yes you can do some oops, sorry some incense you can put it on your candle as you can see but if you do that always stay near your candle and be careful because sometimes it takes in fire so be careful now if there's a couple of herbs that you're left with you know you can always use them and make a mix like that so for example i had so some left that i use for spell and that what that i wasn't using but now like that i use them so that's a good way to do that now when you use that you always need like mortar and pillar some spoon some fennel it always help and oh before i forgot ears i don't know if you see there's some pendant okay you can open it as you can see in it there's sorry okay there's a little sponge so you can put oil on it or if you don't want to you can use it and put some herbs inside now sorry because i don't see like i have some cloth here so you can use and put your cloth in there oh sorry now as you can see i put the cloth in there close it and then no one need no one knows where it is and you have some protection with you all day so this is what you can do with your herbs now as i said don't worry if you don't have all of the herbs i have you can use some as your base and you can do pretty well with that and if you don't have specific one for your spell worry not as i say you can use a correspondence but most important is your will so and of course if you go there saying oh my spell won't work because i don't have this ingredient of course it's not gonna work so be confident do it and it will work so i hope that this gave you some little ideas on what to do with your herbs <laughs>